Today we can discuss lanthanides, F block elements. F block elements, you know, there are two series lanthanides and actinides. So today we can discuss lanthanides. Lanthanides are 14 elements, 14 elements from lanthanum to lutetium. Actually, it is beginning from cerium, 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 praseodymium, neodymium, promethium, samarium, europium, gadolinium, terbium, dysprosium, homium, erbium, thulium, Iterbium, lutetium. From its uh, electronic configuration, we can identify its oxidation state. For example, you will see lanthanum. Lanthanum, when it removes this 2 plus 1, 3 electron, it will get noble gas configuration. So, plus 3 is the stable oxidation state. Similarly, in the case of cerium, can remove these three electrons, so plus three is a possible oxidation state, but if, if it can remove all the four electrons, it will get noble gas configuration, therefore, it has plus four oxidation state. So the oxidation state, depending on the stability of the various ions, in order to get a noble gas configuration or exactly half filled configuration, see the case of gadolinium. When it removes this three electron, it will get a half filled configuration. You can see four of seven. Four of seven configuration. In the case of europium, when it removes two electron, it will get a F7 configuration. So plus two will be the stable oxidation state here. Here plus three is the stable oxidation state. So based on this conversion, similarly here, if it removes 2 plus 1, 3, it will get completely filled configuration. So lutetium shows uh, plus 3 as the stable oxidation state. And here this table, only to see the names of the elements and uh, to compare their electronic configurations. So just uh, read and understand it. For reference, it is in your textbook, so no need to copy it down. Okay, now a few more words about electronic configurations. Atoms of these elements are electronic configuration with the 6s2 common. But variable number of electrons in F orbit. Outermost S2, 4S2, that is common. Sorry, not 4S2, 6S2 is common. And inner F orbital, there the number of electrons will be different. And one of the important property of uh, lanthanides, that is lanthanide conversion. In atomic and ionic sizes, we can see lanthanide concentration. An important, very important property. If you take 10 question papers, uh, you can see these questions or related questions in nine question papers. The overall decrease in atomic and ionic radii from lanthanum to lutetium is known as lanthanide concentration. As in the case of all elements as we move from left to right in a period, there is a regular decrease in the atomic sizes that we can observe in the case of uh, lanthanides. That decrease in atomic size is known as lanthanoid contraction. So what is lanthanoid contraction? The overall decrease in atomic and ionic radii from lanthanum to lutetium is known as lanthanoid contraction. A gradual decrease in atomic size from Lanthanum to lutetium, that is lanthanide conversion. Then what is the importance of this lanthanide conversion? This F block 
actually it, it comes inside the d block therefore the name inner transition inner transition elements so if there is a there is 14 elements in between two elements of transition elements that will affect the properties of transition elements also that is the importance of uh, landrenate we can see the what are the applications or what are the effect of this landrenate conversion that we can see and what is the reason for landrenate conversion it is due to imperfect shielding of electrons by f4 orbitals imperfect shielding of nuclear charge imperfect shielding of nuclear charge by the electrons of f orbital f orbital that is comparatively it has larger size therefore electrons are accumulated at a distance so it cannot shield the nuclear charge perfectly so the effective nuclear charge will be more therefore size decreases okay now what are the effects of uh, landrenate conversion the first one the radius of members of the third transition series to be very similar to those of the corresponding members of the second series told you even the properties of transition elements will be affected by this landrenate conversion it is the effect of landrenate conversion on the properties of d block elements the size atomic size of third transition series almost equal to atomic size of second transition series that is a uh, one of the important effect radius of second and third transition series elements corresponding elements of uh, second and third transition series are almost equal for example zirconium 160 picometer and hafnium 159 picometer it is a very important sometimes you will get questions like this the radio of uh, zirconium, zirconium of uh, second transition series and hafnium of uh, third transition series are almost equal why simply you can write landrenate conversion so questions will be like otherwise directly you will get the question what is landrenate conversion or what are the consequences of landrenate conversion now the second point landrenate contraction account for their occurrence together in nature and for the difficulty faced in the separation only a very small decrease in the atomic sizes therefore it is difficult to separate them landrenates are uh, present together in nature so if you want to separate this landrenate that is very difficult and uh, it is one of the effect of landrenate contraction the third point basic strength of their hydroxides decreases from landanum to lutetium their hydroxides laoh3 coh3 luoh3 that is their hydroxide as we move from landanum to lutetium the basic strength of their hydroxide decreases and the strength of their hydroxide depending on the ionic character of hydroxides as the size decreases size of the cation decreases the covalent character increases first year we discussed this particular thing in fajan's rule as the size of the cation decreases the covalent character increases the only character is more it can ionize completely therefore basic strength will increase so as we move from landanum to lutetium what happens covalent character of hydroxides increases and therefore basic strength decreases ionization will be less now the now we can see the properties of 
lanthanides. The first one is oxidation state. The most stable oxidation state of all the lanthanides are plus three. You have to remember it very clearly. Stable oxidation state of lanthanides plus three. That will be a one word question. But occasionally plus two and plus four ions, plus four ions in solution or in solid compounds are also obtained. Mentioned it in the case of cerium, it is plus four. Europium, it is plus two. We discussed uh, at the beginning, you may remember it. This irregularity arises mainly from the extra stability of empty, half filled, or filled epsilon. In the case of cerium, empty epsilon. And in the case of europium, plus two oxygen state is stable due to F7 configuration, half filled configuration. Lutetium plus three is stable because of F14 configuration, completely filled configuration. Already we discussed. Other properties. All the lanthanoids are silvery, white, soft to metals and tarnished rapidly in air. Highly, that will undergo corrosion readily in air. It will be oxidized readily in air. And they are silvery, white, soft metals. Second point, the hardness increases with increasing atomic number. Samarium is, uh, its hardness is equal to the hardness of the steel. Very hard metal, samarium. Hardness increases with the increase in atomic number. Their melting points are very high, range between 1000, 2200 Kelvin. 1000 to 1200 Kelvin. But the melting point of samarium is 1623 Kelvin. Higher than that of other lanthanides. They have typical metallic structure and are good conductors of heat and electricity. Metallic property. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. Colored ions, that is the next property. Trivalent lanthanide ions are colored both in the solid state and in aqueous solution. What will be the reason for the color? Surely the F electron. The presence of F electron. D block elements are colored due to the D electron, DD transition. Similarly, here uh, this F block elements, uh, color of F block elements is due to F electron. Again, some chemical properties. The ionization and the albis of the lanthanides are uh, around 600 kilojoule per, joule per mole. Kilojoule per mole. Here it is given as kilojoule mole, not kilojoule mole, kilojoule per mole. The second ionization and that'll be, that is about 1,200 kilojoule per mole. This 1,200 kilojoule per mole is the ionization and that'll be of calcium. So its ionization and that'll be is almost uh, similar to that of calcium. Second ionization. And so it has similarity in its chemical properties with calcium. Here a diagram is given that is easy to remember the properties. Lanthanides can react with the acids and liberate the hydrogen. Lanthanides react with the halogens to form trihalides, LnX3. Ln generally represent lanthanides. Lanthanides can react with the H2O to form hydroxide, LnOH3, with the liberation of hydrogen. Lanthanides react with the carbon at 2,773 Kelvin to form carbides. LnC2, a formula LnC2. You may remember the carbide of calcium, CaC2. So similar carbide is obtained. Lanthanides when heated with the nitrogen form nitrides, LnN. When it is heated with the sulfur, it will form sulfides. 
ln2 s3 bands in oxygen to form the oxides ln2 o3 these are the chemical properties of lanthanides if you can remember this diagram very easy to remember it you simply draw the diagram two or three times and study it well and what are the uses of lanthanides lanthanides are used for the production of alloy steels that is one of the important use of lanthanides for the production of alloy steels a well known alloy is mismet also very important what is mismetal or what is the composition of mismetal what is the use of mismetal that is important a well known alloy is mismetal which consists of a lanthanoid metal that will be 95 percent 95 percent of lanthanoid metals maybe one or two metals usually cerium cerium is present in in greater percentage about 40 45% cerium and iron 5 percentage traces of sulfur carbon calcium and aluminum are present in mismet so the composition of mismet you have to remember it in your textbook it is clearly given lanthanoid metal 95% iron 5% and traces of sulfur carbon calcium and aluminum and one of the important the use of mismetal that is used in magnesium based alloy to produce bullet shell and lighter flint mixed oxides of lanthanides are employed as catalyst in petroleum cracking Mix, mix, uh, mixed oxides of lanthanides can be used as catalysts in petroleum cracking then some uh, individual lanthanides can be used as phosphorus in television screens phosphorus may had about phosphorescent phosphorus in television screen so these are some of the important uh, uses of lanthanides and we can stop it here and next class we can see actinides okay